Hi, I'm Gabriella and I go by Feeding Wolves. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can record the Live Link Source Intake Recorder using facial motion data from the UE Live Link face on the new MetaHumans. What I'm also going to show you is how you can fine tune this animation and even add animations using the new Control Rig Additive Backward Solver. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to the plugins folder and make sure that control rig is turned on. I'm going to drop my character into the scene. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the UE Live Link face app on my phone. And as soon as I do that, you notice on the left, it immediately pops up in the Live Link. Now, when I select Lexi, and as you can see, I'm going to select the Live Link face subject and I'm going to select my phone. I'm also going to go to her face, double click over here, making sure that in the blueprint that my phone is selected. We're going to record this with Take Recorder. In order to record the Live Link source, this right here, I'm going to select source from live link and select it. Next thing you're going to do is select this and uncheck use source timecode. And then we're going to click out of there and we're going to make sure that these two are unchecked as well. And we're going to name this UE live link face. Then going into play mode, and then I'm going to press record. And as you can see, immediately it has recorded. And inside of the cinematics folder, you're going to get these two files. This is the folder that you want to go into, this subscene folder. And the reason is I have record sources into subsequences checked on. So let's double click on this. You're going to notice this track. And if you select this and scroll down, you're going to notice all of this data that came in from the UE Live Link Face app. What we're going to do next is I'm going to get out of play mode and I'm going to select my character and drop her in here. On the lower right, it's going to say sequences read only. So we're going to unlock this. Let's drop her back in and we're going to delete these. We don't need the body and we're going to select the face, right click, and we're going to go to bake animation sequence. We're going to name this UE face and click OK. And I leave these just the way they are export to animation sequence. And then let's go ahead and open it. And there's our animation. And that is how you record the live link source. The next thing I'm going to show you is how you can bake this animation to the control rig and not only edit, but add animations on top of it. I'm going to go to cinematics. I'm going to make a new level sequence and I'm going to add my character in there. I'm going to delete this, this, and I'm not going to be using any body data. So I'm going to be deleting this too. And for the face, I'm going to look for the animation that we just recorded. Then we're going to select the face. You're going to right click and then go bake to control rig. And I'm going to uncheck reduce keys and then bake to control rig. And as you can see, the control rig board is on the right. And what you're going to notice over here is all of the keys. The next thing you're going to want to do is select this and select additive. And when you drop this down, you're going to notice that there are two now. The first is all the keys. And the second one is this big space and it says additive. We're going to right click and say key this section. I've added a plane behind the control rig board so we can read these. 
And these kind of tell you what you can look for. For example, if we're looking for O, over here, I want to check on only select the red controls. And now the only thing that you're going to select is what's on this board, making things much easier. So now let's say we want to change how her bottom lip is really low. One way we can change this is we can look over here on the right. When she moves her face, you notice on the right, these little points move as well. I'm going to go ahead and select these two points down here that don't seem to be moving too much. And I want to shift select the other one as well, but because this widget is really big, I'm going to go on the left over here and make it a 0.4. So now I'm going to shift select both of these. I'm going to make a key right here and right here. And somewhere in between, I'm going to go ahead and lift these up a little bit and press S. And now let's see what that looks like. Now I'm going to show you how to add an animation. I'm going to use adding a blink as an example. I want this character to blink right here. Now we can select these points on the control rig board. And I'm going to add a key right here and right here. And right here, I want her to blink. So I'm going to use the widget and close her eyes and add a key. So I've just shown you how you can fine tune your animations using the additive backward solver, in addition to how to add animations on top of them, as well as how to record the live link source in order to get the cleanest data. Now you're probably wondering why is it important to use the live link source in take recorder instead of recording in sequence recorder or dragging the skeleton inside of take recorder. I recently recorded a walk cycle and noticed that there was a lot of jitter. What I'm going to do is show you the difference between the curves of the pelvis for the X and Y using sequence recorder, take recorder when adding the skeleton, take recorder, recording only the live link source. It's going to be much smoother, a lot less jitter and much cleaner. Now, if you learned anything from this video, please like subscribe, follow and tag me on social media. If you made anything cool based on what you learned. Thank you for watching. Bye.